Do you like masked guys creeping out of your balcony? Or perhaps you're not sure whether there's some old supernatural force haunting your house. And who knows, there might actually be a serial killer running around in your area. Even if these were just ideas for you, Netflix sure wants to run along with your imagination. So pull on your blankets and get your popcorn because here come the top 10 horror Netflix TV shows that you should be watching right now. So starting off this list, we have Creeped Out, and as the name implies, it's sure to creep you out. Rather than following a linear plot sequence, each episode deals with a different incident and ends with the appearance of a mysterious man who covers himself with a mask named The Curious. The Curious claims that he's a collector of stories and each incident happening in the episode is a new story for him. With the setting and plot of each episode being different, you'll be introduced to a massive cast of interesting characters, each with their own unique situation. The directors have claimed that the idea of creating a man named Curious was to give the feeling of gothic horror to the series, and with him appearing at the end of each episode, we can agree they've done a pretty good job with it. The series ran for two seasons with a total of 26 episodes. Next up we have Black Summer, a zombie apocalypse TV series that's made its way onto Netflix. This series is about a mother named Rose who's separated from her daughter Hannah during a zombie apocalypse. During her journey to search for her daughter, she meets other refugees and together they combat the deadly world they're living in. One of the great things about Black Summer is its dystopian world building. The series manages to effectively showcase the zombie apocalypse by showing the gritty environment that the survivors are in. It also manages to heighten the stakes of the survivors by providing them with more challenging obstacles with the development of the story. Even though it doesn't reach the level of Walking Dead, it still manages to pull off a decent zombie blockbuster. The series has one season, and even though it feels like a short one, these episodes can give you a cool dead versus living action. Want more serial killers? At number 8 we have Slasher, an anthology horror Canadian TV series that focuses on a masked executioner who terrorizes his victims. Each season follows the story of him within its 8 episodes, but it all happens in different settings. The first season happens around the town of Waterbury and focuses on a serial killer known as the Executioner. The second season then shifts the focus to a group of summer camp counselors who are targeted by a serial killer. Then we have the third season focusing on a group of neighbors who witness a murder in front of their apartment complex. All of these seasons are loosely attached to each other, with the show giving more focus on its horror aspects rather than trying to establish a continued storyline. Critics have praised the show for its bloody violence and neatly crafted plot twists. If you need one of those horror murder mysteries, don't forget to add this to your watch list. Try and stay calm. You're doing very well. Number 7 we have Dracula. Okay, now we all know the tale of the most famous vampire of them all in the world, don't we? But this TV series still manages to accomplish the tale of the character in an interesting way. This Netflix TV series follows the story of Dracula, with the first arc talking about his origins in Eastern Europe, and then moves on to explain his battles with Van Helsing. Before the series was released, Netflix claimed that they'll be adding more gore and violence to the original story to flesh out the vulnerability of the character, and we're proud to say that they've managed to keep their promise. It also gained positive reviews from critics with special praise given to the show's director. The series stars Clay's Bang, Dolly Wells and John Heffernan. Released on the 1st of January 2020, the series ran for three episodes. All you have to do is invite me in. Coming in at number 6 is Hemlock Grove, a series based on the 2012 novel of the same name. This gothic horror TV series revolves around the incidents of a fictional town named Hemlock Grove in Pennsylvania. The town has two main sources of employment, the Hemlock Acres and an institute of biomedical research. In the premise of season 1, we see how two teenage girls are brutally murdered and how the people suspect a Romany boy who is secretly a werewolf. In season 2, we're introduced to a cult that's risen to destroy the supernatural creatures in Hemlock Grave. and shows how people gradually lose their humanity over time. Even though the show failed to impress, it still did a pretty good job by maintaining horror through violence, and personally speaking, it has the same feeling as Twilight. The series has currently aired three seasons and no new season has yet to be confirmed. <laughs> Tyler? 
Next in our list we have Scream, an anthology slasher TV series based on the Scream media franchise. Even though the characters of the seasons differ, the concept of the show remains the same. A group of teenagers get stalked and threatened by a masked serial killer. Now, the main character of the first two series is Emma Duval, whose background is related to the dark and mystic past of the Lakewood town. As a new serial killer approaches, Emma has to confront her past to save her family. The third season follows Dion Elliott, whose tragic past is used by a killer named Ghostface to threaten and blackmail him. His family soon to be a victim of this serial killer and Dion has to stand up against his past to confront the mass murderer. The series has been praised for its relation to its big screen predecessors and the horror it manages to deliver. Originally released on MTV, it ran for three seasons. Looking for a slasher horror TV series to watch on a cozy day? Well, this TV show is surely for you. Number four is the French horror Marianne. The series follows a young novelist named Emma who quits writing horror stories and decides to retreat back into her hometown. As she moves on, she realizes that the character in her horror story is slowly coming to life in the real world. From the premise itself, Marianne does a good job maintaining the horror aspect of the TV series and gives the viewers a gothic feeling. It also relates to writers and other creative personalities as it showcases common issues like not being able to write and considering failures in your own work. Only one season of the TV show was released with eight episodes. At number three, we have Chilling Adventures of Sabrina, a Netflix TV show based on the Archie comic book series. The series, as the name implies, centers around the character of Sabrina, a half-witch, half-mortal who has to fight evil spirits to protect her family. Apart from its horror aspect, it's also a coming-of-age story that's ideal for teenagers. The show has an impressive cast of characters, including Kiernan Shipka, Ross Lynch, Lucy Davis, and Chance Podomo. Many critics have praised the show's premise, visuals, teenage elements, and directing. Even though the series was plan to connect to Riverdale, the discussions eventually took off as Netflix purchased the rights for the TV show. If you love teenage melodrama mixed with a coming-of-age horror story, I definitely recommend this one. 37 minutes to go. I heard we might get bumped for the news. Not unless this really is the end of the world. Number two is the zombie-filled Dead Set. This TV series was inspired by the movie Dawn of the Dead and gives you the same feeling of horror as the movie. The setting of the series is in the famous Big Brother mansion inspired by the Big Brother TV series and tells the story of the housemates trapped inside the mansion during a zombie outbreak. With zombie TV show being cliche, it's rare to see something that's capable of actually scaring you. Dead Set manages not only to give you the fear, but also make you wonder about being isolated without any help. It captures the atmosphere of the original Big Brother reality TV show well, and then mixes it up with top-notch zombie horror that's enough to put anyone under their beds. The TV series has only one season with five episodes. Well, it isn't a surprise that this came as number one in our list. From mind-blowing plot twists to mouth-gaping horror, Haunting of the Hill House is considered as one of the best TV shows around. The story is a reimagined version of Shirley Jackson's novel and follows the story of the Crane siblings, who as children stayed in the Hill House and were haunted by natural forces. As they returned as adults, they now need to confront their worst fears once again. The series gained massive popularity due to its horror elements and an ending that no one could have imagined. Even the popular horror writer Stephen King claimed that the series was a masterpiece when it comes to its genre, which certainly proves that class recognizes class. The series has one season with 10 episodes, with a second season based on the novel The Turn of the Screw, set to be released later this year. From serial killers to haunting old women, horror never fails unless it's downright stupid. These 10 shows we mentioned are horror epics on Netflix, and we're even more confident that they'll scare the living hell out of you. Do give them a watch and let us know in the comments below what you thought of them. Write to us also if you thought we missed anything as well. We'd love to hear from you on that. Thanks so much for watching this video. Be sure to leave a like, subscribe, and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a single one of our countdown videos, and let us know what list that you think we should be doing next. I'll see you next time on the TV. TV Regent.